steps. So, Saray, you were a survivor from that village. And our boy Mickey was refashioned into a seraph. So I was a sacrifice. You can cry if you want. Why would I cry? I'm surprised, to be sure, but I'm not sad. And now we know where Mount Hellas is. Now the only thing left is our answer. Right. So does this mean we've found it? I know now what path I want to take. Though I'm not sure that counts as an answer. Very well then. Let's consult with Maven once more. Hey, where'd he go? Just a little while ago, he was activating the hidden powers of this monolith. He's probably still around here somewhere. You're right. Let's go look for him. Come to think of it, I wonder how this monolith works. How do you think it activates the Earth and Historia? Probably because this is an Earth Pulse Nexus, don't you think? Earth Pulse? <laughs> I'll let Terror Firma herself do the explaining. The Earth Pulse is a manifestation of the power of Mother Nature that permeates the Earth. Exactly! Logren has been known for centuries as a spot where several branches of the Earth Pulse intersect. If you're already such an expert, why call on me? Because when you say it, it's that much more adorable. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. So, the Earth in Historia is reacting to the Earth Pulse. Um, could you repeat that in English for dumb bums like me? Well, um... Okay, let's say instead that there's all this water bubbling up here. Then the Earth in Historia would be like a water wheel. When the wheel goes round, it grinds out the record of history, just like it was milling grains. Oh, okay. Makes sense to me. But then why are the Earth in Historia behaving like a water wheel? Uh, probably... I told you. The Earth Pulse is the power of the Earth. Oh. I see. So if Maltellus made the Earth in Historia, and he's using the Earth itself as his vessel, then probably it's the force of his will that's making them do that. What a sad turn of affairs. There was more to it than just Heldolf and the Shepherd Michael. So many factors converged to bring about that disaster. What happened to that village was so ghastly, you can sort of see how Michael finally came to do what he did. But still, no one except maybe his closest friends ought to buy I was in the depths of my despair as an excuse. Right. The actions he took that day changed the fates of millions. That's true. It was his thoughtless curse of eternal solitude that paved the way for Kittybeard to become the Lord of Calamity. Without the curse, Old Sourpuss never would have hated the world so much. Never would have wanted it to turn into a world of Hellions. You can't blame the people of Highlander Rollins for seeing him as a monster. But I get the sense that deep down, in his own misguided way, he just wants to bring peace to his country. Some of the blame, too, has to go to the former Shepherd for keeping secret the fact that he'd spirited Mautelis away. Because of that, folks who didn't know the true situation wound up desecrating the shrine and causing Mautelis to transform into a Hellion. That's right. If they'd only talked about it more openly, there might have been better understanding and cooperation. It also looks like the former Shepherd didn't really trust anyone other than his own flesh and blood. To those who believed in the Shepherd, I can think of no greater wound. True enough. He may have genuinely wanted every one of them to be happy, but if he never shared this desire with anyone, then... Regardless of Michael's circumstances, it doesn't change the fact that what Heldelf did was unspeakably cruel. That he would toss strangers to the wolves just to further his own interests. None of this comes down to black and white, that's for sure. Well, Maven told us just to feel and experience what had happened. We'll go tell him what we felt. You're back. What are you doing here? Oh, I just wanted to make sure the monolith doesn't get damaged. Your thoughts? No one involved was fully in the wrong, but no one was really right either. That's how it felt to me. A useful understanding to reach. Now, 
Your answer. Saray, let us hear your answer to this. My answer is I want to save Heldolf. The Shepherd's job doesn't just boil down to quell the Lord of Calamity, or even clean up the previous Shepherd's mistakes. When Malevolence consumes Seraphim and turns them into Hellions, we save them. Yet when it brings misfortune and grief to humans, we say they only have themselves to blame. It doesn't seem fair. So that is your answer. Dunno if it counts as one. There are humans out there just like Heldolf. He just happened to play one part in a cascade of terrible events. I'm not gonna say you shouldn't sympathize with him, but I will say it would strike me as bizarre to completely let him off the hook for the horrors he brought to such a peaceful village. And what he's trying to do now is still messed up, right? Absolutely. It's wrong, period, and I will stop it. But even so, you would save this man? If I won't save humans like Heldolf, who've had Hellionhood thrust upon them, I'll never see humans and Seraphim live in peace. I see. So then you... Really are an idiot. Yep. Saray is Saray, and we love him for it. That's right. He couldn't be anyone else even if he tried. So, Mr. Teller, that what you were looking for? For such a man, ending his loneliness would be the sole path to salvation. Do you understand what that means? Taking his life, I would expect. Saray, can you carry that burden with you? Indeed. That, even more than your answer, is the crucial matter. Right. What's important now is whether you truly will not waver. Or rather, whether you truly believe in your answer and are willing to accept its repercussions. No matter what happens, and no matter what cost. Wait, are you asking him to prove his determination in battle? Put bluntly, yes. In order to defeat one who has been abandoned in time, the bonds of strength must be severed. Show me how that is done. Defeat the one who has been abandoned in time? You can't be talking about... How to sever the bonds of strength. So eternal loneliness is a curse, you say? It makes sense now. Old man. Now then, show me! Help the Don't hold back! I certainly won't! But even if there is a way to sever the bonds of strength... And if we were to actually use it... Then what would happen to you? Do you see why it is you waver? Settle this, Shepard! Do not let Maven's conviction go to waste! Release my spell! Release my spell! Release my spell! Release 
What I want to see is not a mere display of strength. So you really are immortal? You understand by now, don't you, the way to defeat me? Yes. Turn my friends into attacks with wills of their own, and use those attacks to pierce through the bonds of strength. What Dazzle said he did. Then why aren't you doing it? I'm not a Hellion. Even if you make use of that means, your friends will not be consumed with malevolence. <laughs> you won't admit it. After all, to demonstrate that method upon me is tacit acknowledgement that it is your only option withheld off as well. But Maven, isn't there any other way at all? No. Even Lila's power is not enough to purify one as consumed with malevolence as he is. You should know that. Saray. Rose. If you weigh lives on scales, you will falter at the crucial moment. All the more so if it is your friend's lives in question. But if you do waver, and your wavering leads you to a faulty answer, you may never recover. In this way, does virtue become vice? <sighs> but if you will die for the answer you truly believe in, even failure will not stop you from rising again. What you should fear is not failure, but rather that fear itself will compromise your belief in your answer. Lila. Now then, Saray! If you intend to make this a farce, then I shall end it! Show me! Not just with words! But with the spirit of belief! I shall end this! Luminous Saber! It is a damn shame, Lila. Unfortunately, it looks like they still don't understand. So, it was all for naught. No, just a little bit more. Even when they resented their own helplessness. Even when they grieved for a fallen comrade. Even when evil schemed to lead them astray. Saray and his companions have pushed ever on, never losing themselves. Knowing fear, but not malevolence, they came all this way to stand here together. You're really something. I don't like having regrets, and I don't like giving them to other people either. Don't you forget it. Saray, Rose, you paralyzed or something? Going up against Hellions is already life or death. It shouldn't be new to you. Edna, Zavid. It's just as they said, Rose. Saray, do you remember what I told you? Back at Lady Lake? I didn't come all this way just to be a liability. I said it before. Do I need to say it again? No. If the Shepherd Saray truly believes in his answer, then surely may he bring an end to the Age of Chaos. Then show us. Show us your answer. Saray! Everyone. You have good friends, lad. Darn right. Let's go! Come at me! Who's off the Don't just charge in there! Maven! This is... My answer! Old man! 
Maven? I thought I could hold out until you finished it, but... Maven? Oh, I'm so sorry it came to this. You're an idiot, too. You're not wrong, but I have no regrets. What's going on? What are you saying? Come on! It's because I violated the taboo. If the user breaks the terms of the oath, the special powers granted by the oath likewise vanish. You should have told us. Please, do not blame Lila. She merely did what she believed was right for all of you. And it was my decision to make as well. I believe too. In my answer, and in my friends, and for their sake I will not waver in what must be done. So there will be no regrets. It is time to say our farewells. I promise. I'll never forget what you've told me, Maven. And I'll teach it to others as well. Saray, you... Never did I imagine I would die with others by my side. Thank you. Let's go! To Camlon? Yeah. Maltellus should still be there. Let's make for Alicia first. There should be a road there leading to Camlon. We saw Gramps come running when the village fell. Oh, that makes sense. So Camlon was close to Alicia. Very likely. That fits with the idea that it was a strategically important location for Highland, Rollins, and the Northern Powers. Yeah, good point. But it looked to me like the road to Camlon was sealed off. Yeah, by my mother. You can cry if- I told you I'm not going to cry! Looks like this is the final battle. Let's end this. Right on! between Mautelus and Heldolf, we'll be home free, right? I'm not so sure about that. He's strong enough to use the Earth itself as a vessel. Will that really be all that it takes? Right. We'll probably have to purify all the malevolence attached to the land as well. Is that right, Lila? She sells seashells by the seashore, yep. She, she sells, sells seashells, seashells by, by the seashore. seashore. He's got to be doing that on purpose. Originally, he was the one who would purify the land. His power was the blessing of the land itself. Like a natural purification of sorts, huh? Don't think that's gonna be enough this time. Certainly the activities of the Shepherds also contributed to the Earth's natural purification from the outside. But now it's just Saray, and no one else. We need to have a plan of action before moving on. But all the same, we can't sit around brooding all day. For sure. 